Okay, so how much is the S? It is for number 25, it is, this is, what is this? This is the area of number 25 rebar. This is what? 510, this is the area of number 25 rebar. Okay? You already have done this in reinforced yes, concrete, so I am not uh, taking too much time. So how much is S? This is for example, let us say number 25 at the rate of 150 mm center to center. Just round this number to the low 10 mm. For example, if it is like 152, round it to 150. Don't round it to the upper side, okay? Because it is the spacing of free bar. If you, this is the minimum spacing you need to provide this T. This is the minimum spacing you need to provide this T. If you provide 160, what will happen? It will uh, reduce the uh, area of steam. Yes, it will it's reduce the area of steam. steam. It will reduce. Check, just check. Put S 160 and find this. In this equation, put, for example, here 150, sorry, 160, and find this. It will be less, uh, less power. It will be less number of millimeters square. Because 5,000, uh, you take it from schedule or you calculate it from It's from schedule. I did not calculate. This is I remember the schedule. Yes, but I don't know. There's a small difference uh, between calculator and yes. schedule. It is from I already checked. Yeah. It is not the same. It is different. Because it's 490, it's from schedule, yeah. I think five. Yes, so it is from schedule. So tell me what is the answer? So it's reduced. Yes. So that is why. And now the same way you can calculate for this. For this, as a designer, I will use number 13 or number 16. Number 15. Number 13. Let's use number 13. So if I use number 13, number 13, how much is the area of number 13? 129. Or S is equal to 675 or 1000. How much is S for this? One hundred ninety one. One hundred ninety one. Let's say one nine zero. So this steel is number twenty five at the rate of one fifty, and this steel we have just decided it is number. 13 at the rate of 190. So we have decided the spacing of uh, main steel and distribution steel. Now we have two spacings. So next step, we have to check the maximum or minimum. For example, according to the ASTRO, these spacings should be less than. Uh, Well, uh, there is one more AS minimum. This AS minimum is distribution steel. But we have one more AS minimum which is basically different from shrinkage and temperature. And that is, there is one more AS minimum. We also have to check this AS minimum according to the ash top. And that AS minimum is 0 0.75. Zero point seven five AG or F five less than or equal to fifty percent. And this AS minimum is for both. This AS minimum is for both layers for top and yeah. This AS minimum, this AS minimum was for this. Uh, the distribution steel we have calculated from this. This is the AS minimum for this. But this AS minimum is for both. Both. Okay. Let's calculate what is AG. AG. 
1 meter width of the and this is the depth of slab okay so this is how you calculated ag you should check this with with both of these two this one and this one but we get more than 50 percent if we check with this now which is for disturbing I didn't the, the, and the percentage is more than 50 here here yeah not here if we divide 401 by 675 this percentage is not for this one. This percentage is for this plus this. Okay? It is not for this AS only. This is for both. Mainly that one. That is the main steel. Okay, next is check for your strength. Now, this is the last thing. This is the last thing, last step. Okay. So, listen. We have, what is the equation? The equation for shear strength. Phi V, V N is equal to Phi V, V S plus phi b b c this is the equation for shear strength shear strength of a beam the slab and beam they are one and same thing now do we need any shear reinforcement in the slab do we provide some shear reinforcement in the slab like so, stirrups yes we provide stirrups in the slab i think yes. no. Yeah. No. no 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 where have you seen uh, Stirrups like this U yeah. in the slab to connect the top and the bottom. You mean the top steel with the bottom steel? Yeah. Slab, not that steel. I think in the slabs we don't provide. In most of the cases, we do not provide the strips. But sometimes we provide. Like if there is a drop panel or, or if there is a column and above the column there is a slab. In order to avoid the punching shear, we provide like rings, ah, a steel so beams. Like drop panel? Yeah. If we do not provide the drop panel, above drop panel, we provide two beams parallel, and in that case, we provide strength in the slab. Or we can put some channel or eye section to increase the shear strength of the steel. But let's check. In our case, for this bridge, let's assume we do not provide any strength. So we calculate this and if phi V Bn is equal to the strength of the concrete and if this is e greater than Bu, it means it is fine. If this strength is greater than Bu, it means there is no need to provide any strips. Okay? Did you understand? Good. But if for example, if this check is failed, if phi V B C is less than the Bu, then we should provide the strips in the slab and we can do that there are several ways or we can increase the thickness of slab but there is a very tough situation so how you can calculate 5 v vc or 5 v vc is equal to there are two equations number one 0 0.166 Square root of Fc prime B W into D V B B into D V Width in shear, depth in shear. V means shear. And the other one is 0 0.25 Fc prime B B and D V. And phi B B N will be the lesser of these two. Phi B B N, sorry B N or B C is lesser of 
1 and 2. So what is BV? BV is the area in shear. Uh, sorry, the width of slab in shear. The width of slab in, this is your slab. We are considering just 1 meter width. So this is BV. And what is DV? DV is the effective depth in shear. DV is the effective depth in shear. And according to the ASTO, this uh, DV it should be larger of three things. Number one, DV is larger of number one. Zero point nine DE D is the effective depth number two zero point seven two H This is again by H to and number three DV is lesser of D minus A by two. Okay, so first of all, what is DE? DE is basically zero point nine into total H minus two into forty minus diameter of bar. This is diameter of the main main rebar. This is DE. So in our case, how much is H? And this dB was 25. Actually, at the top, you know, this is we are reducing the top surface of the concrete Why? for example this is actually 40 is the bottom cover but why we are also mine, uh, multiplying by 2 we are also reducing this value you know why this is for the wear and tear for example if you put a spot and you remove it so what is happening sometimes the part concrete also goes down with the spot or oh, this part becomes damaged the top surface so in that case we are reducing the depth so we are, it is giving the extra margin of safety we are just considering for example from this center of the steel to this part or from above the steel to the for example, if this is your steel, main steel, so we are considering from here to here. So that is the pure concrete, which is not damaged or uh, sometimes even we do not provide a spot. It is just the concrete sometimes. So what happens due to the traffic, the top surface becomes rough or even sometimes it becomes eroded. So how much is this? What about the DV distribution? We didn't consider as DV over 2. Which one? For distribution. Steel. Yes. Is steel? No, no. No need for the the beginning we calculated. Yeah, for that there is no need. For uh, in this case, no need. This is a shear. Shear in this case we have to multiply this by 2. But for distribution steel, when we have calculated was just single cover, the bottom cover, that's all. Okay. So 0 0.72 into 450. And this we have calculated this D was 375. Minus A by 2. What is A? 3 to 4. A. What is A? 
depth of what? Width is stress block. It is C. What is C? You know this A is basically equal to A is equal to beta 1 C. And how much was C? For a tension controlled failure, it is equal to P over A B. Okay? So how much is D? How much is A now? Please tell me. The 
larger of these three values? The last value is 315. The first value? The last value. 315.21. And this? 300. 300. 300. So, how much will be the dv? Yeah, so, what else you need in this equation? Nothing. Just put the value, you will get vc. Number 1, 0 0.166 into bb into db. If you divide by 1000, you will get your answer in kilonewtons. And number 2, 0 0.25. Fc prime into BB into DB. First one is 234.5.6. And what about the second one? Second one. So, how much was BU? You how much was BU we calculated? Two hundred. Two hundred. So, how much is phi B B N now? Phi is zero point nine for this shear according to the astro. And this is 284.6. Is it safe or not? Is it safe or not? Yes. Safe. Five yes. BN is greater than VU. No need to provide any shear enforcement. So, our slab is safe. And we have designed the interior strip and we have checked the shear force for interior strip. Okay? In our next class, what you will do, you will do the same procedure for exterior. You have MU and VU for exterior. And at the end, I will make a drawing, the full flesh drawing of your bridge to show the steel inside the just like in, in case of your beam you know you, you prepare a cross section of your beam so now the next class you will design the exterior strip and I will plot the full sketch of your bridge so this concludes this lecture any question? <laughs>